Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page or website, it's definitely better to use the platforms that allows you to make that happen faster and easier than to learn coding or web design or more knowledges that you need to learn. That's why in this video, I want to provide you uh, with an all information that you'll need to build your own landing page or web page or, or website uh, in in a minute, literally, because this platform that I want to show you gives you opportunity to make that happen really, really fast and easy. Everything is drag and drop and everything is um, understandable, easy to use and so on. Before I've started, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily find that link and you can jump straight to platform from this video. So be our guest and use that link. And uh, one more thing, I don't want to make this video like one hour long because uh, information is uh, not so big and everything to show you is not takes a long time and I don't want to waste your time actually. And it's better for you to uh, spend the time of building up your own landing page. And so let's jump straight to business because I saw those one hour tutorial videos. I don't like to do like that. That's why we jump in straight inside. First of all, you need to uh, find the link in the description and press the start a free trial. The platform itself will ask you which plan is suitable for your business, 27 per month, 59 or 239 per month. Um, it depends on a lot of a lot of things. So it's up to you decide which one is the best, but you have 14 day trial version and it's pretty enough to start and to build everything up and to go live with your landing page. So let's jump straight to business. I want to show you the dashboard of this platform that how it looks. And if you need to create landing page, you need to press create new landing page. There are sites, conversion tools, leads, brand images, lead magnets, integrations, domains and support. But we need to create a new landing page and that's why we press on that button. Now, here you can sort all the templates that pre-built for you and you just need to customize them a little bit. Now, you can sort them by the page type, by the industry, by style and by color even. So uh, the question is, uh, what is your business? What is your own business? And probably Probably it's better to find uh, some ready template uh, to save some time on editing. And that's what I want to show you. I'll show you all the editing features of this platform and you'll find out how to make that happen by yourself. In the end of this video, you'll know how to uh, how to edit everything and how to make that really and really fast. Let's choose any template. Uh, I don't know, just want to show you the simple thing because editing features in this platform are pretty the same. Um, okay, this yoga one, let's start it. Let's start building this one. First, you need to give your page a name and you can change it later. That's why I'm just typing Y ladder just to show you just to show you all the editing features are pretty simple and pretty the same. Everything is drag and drop here and OK. Uh, we see a couple buttons here, layout, sections, widgets, styles and setting. This lead matter, very interesting tool, uh, actually. And if you uh, th that shows how your web page, how your landing page will convert uh, visitors to customers. When you're hovering over the page, you see um, different boxes. Yeah, those different boxes. And I'll show you what are those and how to manage them. Uh, also, while I'm here, I want to show you that you see this divider line, vertical line, and you can grab it and you can move it around to reshape uh, the, the blocks that you can see. Okay, that's also very interesting and uh, fantastic tool because you can get a lot of customization here. So layout what sections any landing page actually or any website build up with the sections like hero footer and there are a lot of um, interesting and different types of uh, sections ready to go and you can drag and drop them 
drag and drop them. That's fantastic. Hero, text and images, for, just for example, yeah? I, I'm choosing any of them and just drag and drop and that's that's pretty cool. If you didn't found the correct template of a section, you can use the blank one and you see uh, what are those? Yeah, with one row, with couple columns and so on. Let's just uh, grab and drop it here. Okay, we're going back to layout. Now we see that there's hero, footer, and a lot of things that we added. So what can you do with them? You can delete them straight from here. And if you have a long layout um, and big, big amount of sections, you see which section you'll delete. Okay, I'm going to delete this call to action. Also, I'm going to delete. And for example, footer, I need the footer to be in the end of this page. I'm just grabbing it, this six dot button and moving it to the spot where I want it to be. And right now, the footer is, is mm, down there and that's pretty cool. Text and images. I'm going to delete it also. So we have a blank uh, blank section. We go into widgets. You see there's a lot of a lot of them. Check out HTML date countdown, social like and so on. But if we're going to press show less, those eight is actually all you need. Uh, there are different types text text and images image video button form line and spacer line and spacer uh, using for reshape and uh, reorder there's a spacer for example yeah and you can you can move it around to get the custom feed of your of your page uh, line also you can add some lines uh, in your design if you if you like lines or you need to divide some things like here yeah, it's also pretty great. All the editing features of any element happens with this pencil button. You see, you can find this pencil pencil button on each of a block, each of elements. Okay. Actually, mm, all you need is images, videos, text, and button and forms. When you go to widgets, you see, for example, this is blank section. I want this video to be here. I want a button here. As I told you, we grab a spacer, drop it in here, and we can reshape things. Also, remember about the divider. Yeah. And that's cool. And that's great. Now we need to go to edit section itself. Let's press this three dots button and you can see the edit section settings, add section above or below, duplicate, copy or delete. So we go into edit section settings. Here we can found the background. Here we can apply the image color overlay. That is pretty fantastic tool. And I'm going to show you why just in seconds. But while I want to change an image to my own. Uh, we can use the images like that uploaded already. You can buy premium images from the stock straight from here from the platform, searching them with the keywords, or you can upload it straight from your computer if you have your own content pictures. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I like this picture. It's used to this, uh, this spot. And as I told you, yeah, the picture is great right now already, but I want to add some color overlay and you see it's pre-made colors already in this theme that we choose so let's apply this one and you see it's the similar with a button color but we can add some new color or we can change the opacity of this color to get the shape that we want and we can choose any custom color here to make our picture be in any shape that you want. Okay, that's great, I think. As for me, that's pretty cool. One more thing that I want to show in the sections. Hey, do you see that automatically shaped? 50%, 75%, 90% or full. Yeah, it it's you can reshape the 
amount in in the process you, you can reshape it or you can use automatically shaped um sections and that's also pretty cool i show you the widgets i'll show you the style you see the page background is not set yet and we can apply color here for example let it be like that or like that you see the picture here the picture in the hero section covers all the uh, all the background and you see that now a uh, background of entire page is uh pretty with a cool color let's make it like that and everything will be like in the same style or you can add an image and uh, your image will be down there and when you're gonna scroll all the things all the elements will be uh, on top of that and uh, you'll get a parallax effect the great one also uh, here in the styles you can change the fonts for entire page just in in couple clicks uh, headline fonts and text fonts and countdown we don't have a countdown here but also you can change the uh, font straight here for entire page if you have a lot of content a lot of text in your uh, in your layout uh, you'll get Mm, you'll get new fonts easily from one spot uh, and and that's pretty cool I think uh, settings let's talk about settings a little bit and I'm gonna show you the most important part of this video uh, SEO definitely you need your website to be visible to search engine machines in other case you need to press I don't want search engines to index this page the flag here uh, social so you need to take care about that page title page description meta keywords and so on social if you want to share link to your landing page uh, to some facebook maybe or other um, social media platforms you need to take care about this picture because that how it will be displayed in um in the social media analytics google tracking id facebook pixel you can switch it on here language it's pretty understandable you can change it here so save and close and we go into the main thing that you need to know about the landing pages the purpose of any landing page is to take contact information from your visitor to to get the email or phone number uh, depends on how you want to contact them uh, email is pretty enough but what's gonna happen actually you need to activate all the buttons you see inactive button uh, we have one active button here and something's gonna happen so you need to edit the click event you click in here what's gonna happen uh, no link option and the button will be unactive open a pop-up open a calendar pop-up jump to page section link to landing page and link to external URL so you can edit the pop-up for example you can make couple of them delete pop-up or create new let's edit this one uh, and you see the shape of it is like white you can change the background here in the added section settings uh, and a lo lot of things you can make right here row column add column uh, or row uh, straight to this layout but the main thing is this button and form so you need to press edit integrations and you jump into edit your form integrations what does it mean how you're gonna get lead notification yeah you can get it to your inbox of your email or you can switch on external services of email marketing and it's impressive list of them and if you have like account in mailchimp or convocate or active campaign that's great and you can connect it to your website and um all the leads all the new information will will be displayed in your uh, email marketing tool if not you can integrate everything with the zapier also very and very powerful tool and th that's pretty cool and uh, let's say it's for free uh, so you can integrate it with external things with external uh, services fields we have just email here let's add a field for example it's going to be the first name uh, and first name on the second spot I want it to be in the top the problem is uh, that you can add 
more fields, but people are lazy and they don't want to fulfill all the fields that you uh, that you prepared for them. So first name and email is pretty enough. And actions, what's gonna happen when somebody will uh, press this button? Yeah, you can add a lead magnet. Uh, as you see here, I want the coupon code so you can uh, add the coupon code straight to here if you promised something uh, in exchange for information that's what you need to do or you can use default lead pages thank you page or you can build external landing page for uh, to say thank you or it's going to be external URL or remain on page so and the lead magnet actually save and close save and close and everything is pretty set up that's it that's it guys as I promised short video with uh, all editing features that you'll need to use to build your own landing page nobody except you can describe your business better that's why you need to uh, you need to create the text the catchy one you need to upload all your things with uh, logos with the text videos maybe um, and switch on all the buttons you need to take care to uh, switch on all the buttons and in that case you can go live with your landing page uh, or with your website to bring new clients and to bring uh, more money to your business that said i showed you everything and now it's up to you so if you want to start building your own landing page fast easy and without an extra efforts use the link in the description panel of this video jump to lead pages and build your own landing page that's simple thank you for watching this video till the end i appreciate and see you in the next one bye bye